guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Clash of Clans. We're on my Town Hall 8 account for this Let's Play. I believe it's episode 9 and uh, this is the first episode of my Clash of Clans career where we're using my new green screen, which you guys can see back there. Um, well, actually you can't see it. That's the idea. But anyway, guys, so today we're going to be talking about doing some more Dark Elixir farming. For the most part, guys, it has been primarily, in fact, it has been entirely dragons. Um, last time I posted an episode of this, you guys were like, why aren't you using Goblin Knife? Or why aren't you using Jai Barge? Or why aren't you using this? And um, guys, just to be completely honest with you, I like doing this. I enjoy using dragons. I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm averaging over a thousand per raid. I mean, sometimes I only get 810, like against Z there. Uh, but look, 1800, 1600, 900, 1200, 1900, three star on a town hall eight. That was pretty awesome. 1700. So, guys, this is how it's being done. This is how it's happening, and I'm enjoying it. And, and, and here's why. Here's why I'm able to do this because whenever I did my original first seven or six episodes, I really prioritized upgrading elixir based buildings. I mean, barracks and army camps. Wait, you don't up. Do you upgrade army camps? I don't remember. But anyway, so all, all the elixir buildings, I mean, the uh, the dark elixir drill, you got uh, all the uh, resource building, spell factory, etc. Guys, so what I was able to do was I was able to lock down on finishing all elixir buildings. And I recommend that for you guys. That's why I have not given in to the temptation yet to do some goblin knife. However, that is what is in my barracks today. That's, one, that's what's chilling my army camps for you guys' viewing pleasure i will be doing a goblin knife attack or two uh, and if you as you can see guys in my dark elixir storage i've got fifty-seven thousand dark elixir and if i go into my laboratory um my main focus is now to get my golems to level uh two which is a 10 day upgrade for sixty thousand dark elixir that means that i need to get another three thousand give or take in order to put that down and since my laboratory is sitting that is the cardinal rule for any war player is do not let your laboratory sit and do nothing so i, I need to get that loot yeah you know what i'm saying so anyway let's um let's talk about let, let me show you guys this replay i mean 1900 dark elixir on a town hall nine even uh probably a brand new town hall nine a rush town hall nine and always the idea is to BBQ a ba a, a, an, air, an air defense. And it depends on the level of air defense. Obviously, that one I didn't need to use my second earthquake spell. And I was able to do some decent damage to some buildings down here. But guys, I attacked this base not expecting the three star. In fact, I expected to fail um, because it was a Town Hall 9. But I didn't really look all that closely. If you look closely, you'll see that the defenses aren't all that high level. Dropped a couple of dragons in there to get this... Uh, Dark Elixir Drill. For the most part, guys, all the Dark Elixir is over here, um, and I'm going to get that storage. So I'm really excited about it because I'm seeing that uh, without any air defenses around this Dark Elixir uh, drill or storage, I'm going to be able to get in there and just take everything out. So I drop my balloons, my rage. They're going to go in. They're going to take out all the defenses to target the dragons. It's going to guarantee that we get that Dark Elixir out of the storage and... <laughs> I mean, what can I say, guys? I love it. I love this. We're going to drop this other air defense with the balloons. They're going to come around, and I think they will fail on this air defense, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember exactly, but the best part, guys, the best part is that I was able to get all the Dark Elixir out of the storage, and um, now we're grabbing the Town Hall. I've got like six dragons surrounding that. I mean, look at this. This is an onslaught, guys. It went way better than expected, but, but the bottom line is that we were able to grab that three star and we were able to get nearly 2,000 Dark Elixir, which for a Town Hall 8 is really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm not being too terribly picky and um, I've been able to grab quite a bit of loot. Now check it out, the last Archer Tower is down and now all that's left is clean up, trash buildings, a little bit of Elixir. I will... Uh, triple quadruple over time my time there and watch this dragons kill the king my king pops up takes out the barracks the army camp we'll get the corner hut and then we'll get the laboratory finally or lastly and andre has a town hall nine level laboratory which makes me think maybe he's aiming for that engineering uh type of uh, based style where he's upgrading only offense and that's why we were able to gr grab that three star on him with still level two dragons which is town hall seven level so not bad not bad at all 
and a ton of loot. Now, if we go in and we watch this 1700 Dark Elixir, it's against a Town Hall 8 with good level defenses. I use my uh, Earthquake spell, Double Lightning, to take this one out. Now, I, <laughs> we've got just a hair, just a hair of HP left. So I went ahead and dropped that last Earthquake to take it out. And now I need to focus my uh, troops primarily on one air defense. Now, how, however, here's my... Um, here's my idea is that because there's dark elixir in that drill the dragons getting that drill I want to also take out that sweeper so that we can kind of cascade this base without any interruptions um, I'm dropping my dragons in a way to where we can kind of collapse in on that core and uh, Double up and take out that air sweeper so the dragons are coming in uh, from the north side and from the east side and then from the south side now, I've got some balloons. We're gonna rage the balloons. We're gonna take out some defenses with it and um, Actually, we're gonna rage those balloons once they get a little closer to the air defense possibly I'm not entirely sure what I'm waiting for. I think the balloons get shot down. We're gonna rage the dragons That is exactly what we're gonna need to do um, So we got a dragon on the dark elixir storage We got the dragons on the elixir storage and if we can grab that town hall We'll be in good shape. We will be sitting pretty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we got dragons taking out the skeleton trap. I know some of y'all don't like when I say, you know what I'm saying? But that's just what I say. That's how I roll, guys. But anyway, so um, the uh, unfortunately the dragon that was taking out the town hall was shot down by an air defense. And I've got two dragons left. I was trying to send them out the town hall. But instead, they started locking onto the elixir. And I still have to farm for elixir. So I went ahead and raised them up, hoping that they would turn around and get the town hall. But they didn't. That's okay. We still got the one star and all but 300. So that, was a, that would have been a 2,000 dark elixir grab had I actually got the town hall. Which we were close, guys. We were close. What can I say? So anyway, nicely done. Now what? Uh, we have our Goblin Knife. Um, I still need 3,000 Dark Elixir, so let's go out and find a base. If I need to skip, I will. But you guys know the Goblin Knife. It's a handful of giants, it's a handful of archers, and it's a whole bunch of goblins. And what we're trying to accomplish with this army is we're, we're trying to grab the Dark Elixir out of the storage, possibly the Town Hall. Uh, you quad quake to let the goblins in and then you uh, wreck the base with your uh, with the goblins that are raged and healed so uh, here's here's a good example here's a wonderful example of how we're gonna use these goblins all right so um, starting out with our giants I've got 10 giants I'm used to having a little bit more but I know that I've got some max giants in the clan castle so I'm gonna go ahead and deploy them first but I'm going to need to uh, focus my troops on that archer tower because it's gonna go there anyway just like so there we go and then let's quad quake here let's drop one two three four just like that there we go all right so our giants are now in let me set down my archers to start the funnel we also need a goblin funnel so i'll drop a few of them on the outskirts as well and then I'm going to heal, and that's actually going to double up for the uh, Giants for a moment. And I'm going to Rage, and then we'll send in our Goblins straight at this Elixir Storage. And look at this, guys. Unattended. Those Goblins are going to wreck that um, this <laughs> Dark Elixir Storage, and then go just haywire on this base. Now, I'd like to see if we can maybe wall breaker. I don't know why I brought so many wall breakers. You don't need wall breakers when you have Quad Quake. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can maybe... Send in my uh, my king and then send in my goblins. Where are they trying to go? They're going to try to go up here, uh, take out this elixir collector, and then see if we can maybe uh, send them right at the town hall. Because that would be nice. If I can get them to go through the wall and take out that town hall, that would be ideal. So let's see. We still got him working on this elixir collector. Um, are we going to get it, guys? Are we going to get that collector out of there? Because of that... That uh, wizard tower is just a pain. All right, we're going to abandon the town hall because there's plenty of loot up here to grab. So I'm going to just three-finger deploy and get these goblins in here. We're going to grab that gold, that elixir. There is a mortar, which is awful news. But in the end, guys, those goblins do ton of work. And they're tunnel seven level goblins, by the way. I haven't upgraded uh, my goblins yet to level four. My archers are, are tunnel eight level so 1290 dark elixir just like that we didn't even have to skip anything um let me go ahead and train up another goblin knife i'm going to request for any an earthquake um although giants obviously serve the purpose just fine you know what i mean so uh we'll wait just a moment see if anybody is kind enough to donate an earthquake spell and then 
the fun begins because we will go out and do another uh, goblin knife or two. We need about 1,800 dark elixir to uh, to get in there. Actually, we've got 800 in our treasury. That means that we only need about 1,000 dark elixir left. And then we'll be able to go out and we'll be able to uh, start our laboratory. Now, I've got all four of my builders working right now. I've got them working on the new mortar, the new wizard tower. I've started upgrading the new stuff as well as the air defense that I believe we started the last video. Um, but I'm excited to say that we're finally starting to work on defenses. If you go in and check out the progress base, which we can't. We can't because there's a stupid tree in the way. But if you can zoom in on that back down in there, I might do it in the editing. But guys, there is no uh, elixir upgrades left. And all I need to upgrade are defenses and the Teslas. And obviously, these ugly as heck purple walls. Those are terrible. But anyway, so shout out to Snow Tiger for donations. Thank you, sir. Now, let's find us about a thousand dark elixir. More would be nice. Obviously, we've got our uh, priorities to hopefully grab... Um, uh, at least a thousand but more I mean we have that that um, obligation to get as much as we can especially in a live recording uh, we want to impress you know but uh, we'll just do what we can also you know what I just realized there's a sword sticking in my head <laughs> I'm actually in the middle whoa oh my goodness whoa guys whoa okay this is nice 468,000 elixir we got 1400 dark elixir um, and we're going to prioritize the town hall side, but in general, I think we'll just go after this base from the southeast side, just like the last attack. So we'll drop our clan castle giants down there, we'll drop our other giants down here, we'll lay down our archer funnel, we'll drop some wall breakers, we'll see if we can quad quake maybe a little bit further in instead of waste them all. Um, so we got a few more, few more, there we go guys, there we go, okay. Quad Quake. Let's Quad Quake this. Alright, guys. Let's send them in. Let's send in the cavalry. I need to make sure I get this Dark Elixir before I forget. Let me grab this Dark Elixir over here. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Let's uh, heal in rage. We're going to send in our goblins right at that Dark Elixir storage there. One finger deployment. Had a few going over to these Elixir Collectors on the outside. Uh, but look at this, guys. These goblins are getting wrecked by that mortar. Oh, no. So even healed rage Town Hall 7 goblins get destroyed by Town Hall 8 level mortars. Let me see this. Let me watch this. They get, they're getting wrecked, guys. But the good news is we got our thousand dark elixir that we needed. But what did we learn? I learned that I need to upgrade my goblins. I think that's definitely going to be a priority for me in the future going forward in this Town Hall 8 Let's Play. But in general, the goblin knife does its job. And that's what I need to be, uh, I need to be... <laughs> assured of is that it does its job now but i want to i want to go analyze the goblin knife real quick because if we go into our quick train we can see gk goblin knife 20 archers 10 giants 114 goblins that's ridiculous eight wall breakers which are almost not needed but it's it's helpful heal rage and three earthquake spells is 108,000 elixir and 375 dark elixir if we go in and, and click edit, you can see the time is 22 minutes and 18 seconds. Now, one of the big shots toward the dragons is it's so expensive. So if you go and you go look at Quick Train again, Goblin Knife, 108,000 elixir. The dragons, the mass dragons, 10 dragons, two lightning spells, one rage, and one earthquake spell comes out to 360,000 elixir. You're almost guaranteed to lose elixir if you got that much you're spending. However, the time, that's the interesting thing. The time is 30 minutes. It's only, if we go in and cancel, it's only about eight minutes longer than the goblin knife. So you gotta ask yourself, you know, are you are you boosting or are you just attacking when your army's ready? Um, if elixir is not a big problem for you, I enjoy dragons more. I enjoy sending in the flying, tanky, fiery, breathing beasts that are gonna rain down death on the on the base. I enjoy that. I really do. But if you're going to be boosting, if you're going to boost your barracks, the time that you save using the Goblin Knife is probably going to be worth it. Uh, so it's kind of up to you guys. I showed you both the Dragons and the Goblin Knife today. It's up to you to decide which one you like better. Um, but I will probably continue Dragon Raids because, as I've said several times already, I'm enjoying the heck out of them. But 
For now, you know what? We need to start this upgrade. We got 59,268 Dark Elixir in our storage. And then we actually got another star bonus. We've got 1,200 more in the treasury. If we collect that, we are now over 60,000. Yes. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Because the golem level two in the lab is freaking expensive. I am shocked that I was able to get this much. Uh, but, you know, hard work pays off, you know. So 60,000 Dark Elixir, 10 days before I have a Max Govaho for Town Hall 8. We've already done our Valkyries and our Hogs. Um, we also did our Barbarians and our Archers, so that's good. I need to do Giants. I need to do Goblins. Dragons would be awesome. Uh, wizards would be good for war. So there's a lot to do left on the base. But for now, I'm going to do these Golems in 3, 2, 1. Bam! All right, yes. Okay, so the job is done. 60,000 Dark Elixir has been spent on the base. I have no builder, so I can't spend all this gold, but I will be in a future video or off camera. If I do, I'll let you know. But in general, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I would love to get you guys' opinion on what you'd like to see me do next in the laboratory now that my Govaho is done, my convictions are over. Um, I feel like if I'm able to upgrade this Rage spell, I feel that would really help a lot. Or if I was to do the Lightning spell, that helped BBQ quite a bit. Or the dragons, or the, oh man, I stepped out, my bad, no, my bad. <laughs> uh, the giants would be really good, the goblins would be completely OP, because ton of late level goblins are way more powerful. I mean, look at this, so plus 8 damage per second per goblin, and I've got over 100 goblins, that means that's over 100 damage per second that I'm going to be adding whenever I upgrade the goblins. Also, it's times 2 for resource building, so it's actually 1,600 extra DPS. That, that might have just convinced me right there, that math... That hashtag class math um, really might have just convinced me that goblins needs to be next if I'm going to continue doing goblin knife. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed the new green screen effect. And I'm actually standing right now, so I'm able to move around a little bit better, which is really awesome. Um, but that's going to do it for me. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you have not joined the class family. And I will see you guys again next time.